We're here at Virtual Computer with Douglas Lane. And uh, how's the show been going for you guys? Oh, it's been great. We've had tremendous uh, traffic here at the Virtual Computer booth. Uh, it's our, our first uh, public show since we came out of stealth mode and launched our product. So uh, we've had uh, we have quite, a good, quite a bit of traffic and some great uh, folks here at the VMworld show that have uh, been interested in what we're doing uh, as a, as a complement to some of their desktop virtualization initiatives. So what is it that you guys are doing? Uh, we've developed a product that we call Nextop, which is uh, you know play on next generation desktop. And really, what we're trying to do, quite simply, is make it as easy to manage thousands of devices, uh, in particular PCs. Make it easy to manage thousands as it is to manage one. And the way we do that is we decouple the hardware from the operating system, from the applications, from the user data. And by doing that, we allow them to be managed independently of one another. So we have a centralized management system where you can create Windows-based virtual machines centrally publish them on a one-to-many basis and they execute directly on a bare metal hypervisor running on a PC platform. So we can support laptops, disconnected operation, and we also wrap security around it as well as backup so that if an employee were ever to lose a laptop, it's very easy to provision them onto a new device. Can we uh, see a little demo? Sure. Let me come over to our uh, management server. Very good. So our platform is has two aspects to it. This, this is what we call Nextop Center, which is our management console that the IT person would use. So you see we've got some uh, users set up. These can be in our database or they can come from Active Directory. Uh, where the magic happens is uh, with these Nextops here. You can see I have a uh, master uh, Nextop for Windows XP called Corporate XP. Um, as an IT person, I manage that here, so I can actually fire that up right in this uh, management view, and I, I boot up my Windows environment. And uh, as an IT person, if I have, you know, say I have a thousand laptop devices in the field, I, I run one uh, master copy here, which I install my base applications uh, into. I can also layer on top of that virtualized applications. So you see here, I've got you know, that same corporate XP next stop assigned to this demo user, and I can actually layer on um, uh, applica virtualized applications on top of it. And the benefit of that is that because we're isolating the user data from the applications from the uh, from the hardware. Um, what that allows us to do is actually the IT person can just patch this one central virtual machine It creates a differential disk that then gets published out over the network to the individual clients in the field and then that uh, differential disk builds a new system disk, merges in with their user data, and the next time the user reboots, they've got a fully patched image. So in the past where an IT person may have been using agent-based technology in Windows to do all their patching uh, with relatively you know, uh, little success, we've taken all that out of Windows and made it a much more elegant solution where they can do it once and have it apply to many users. And then also, unlike uh, you know, technologies like BDI, we still have that rich client experience as well as mobility um, that most companies require these days. Um, so we really review ourselves as a complement to VDI in some cases. If there are stationary workers that don't need to be uh, operating disconnected, they can continue to use VDI, but in cases where you need disconnected operation on laptops, we can actually, uh, please do, we can actually accommodate that very well. Um, in addition, I mean, there are some cases where we're actually easier to deploy than VDI because we don't require a large data center infrastructure. You, if you think about deploying VDI, you may have 20 desktops running on one server. At that point, um, you don't want that server to go down, so you buy a backup server. You're investing in network upgrades to send keyboard, video, and mouse over the network. In our case, there's just one uh, management server that does all of the publishing, but the execution occurs on the PC. So it's a much more scalable approach, and the initial investment is significantly lower than VDI. And where can our viewers go if they want to find out more information about it? Um, so we've launched our website recently. It's at virtualcomputer.com. So you can uh, see a little bit about the product uh, there. And uh, there's also some ways you can engage with us on our blog, as well as to get involved with our product advisory council, where we're working with IT professionals to refine our product uh, feature mix and, and, and bring a, uh, a solid product to market. Great. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. My pleasure.